This masterpiece, the original painting, is housed at the Jagmohan Palace in Mysuru, Karnataka, and a digital print of it can be bought from Amazon at six fifty rupees, plus eighty rupees delivery charges. The painting is an entry point to a lot of concepts that are idiosyncratic to India. Introduction to electricity was such a novel and prized innovation in nineteen forties, so much so that. people still bow down to it after switching the lights on even today in 2020 asato ma sadgamaya tamaso ma jyotirgamaya mrityor ma amritam gamaya is uttered even today and during diwali we still light up houses with diyas and that becomes the light guiding the devas to our homes light is powerful and here in the painting the woman carries and becomes the navigator her aura amplified by the larger than life shadow and the way s l hallankar the painter uses his quick watercolor marks is just amazing there is lightness and luminosity to add all these qualities into a portrait painting it's pretty remarkable don't you think the stunning play of the context of hiding the flame to save it from blowing out in turn lighting up the holder's face brings control to the character There was an Indian television soap opera called Kahani Ghar Ghar Ki. The last frame of the intro sequence was pretty iconic. That's where the woman's hand saves the dia from dying out and keeps the flame burning, pointing to a lot of symbolism. Men in India are referred to as Ghar Ka Chirag, which literally translates to the flame of the family. But this is a girl. Thankfully, the times were changing. talk about subliminal messaging <laughs> pretty smart thank you mr hildenkar okay now technically the gravitating effect of the painting exaggerated by the dramatic lighting makes our eyes fixated on the face there is a certain amount of softness and yet affirmative gaze of the woman there is an element of transition from childhood to adulthood such bewildering beauty the woman has her eyes fixated on the viewer not in a shaky way but a confrontational gaze we feel the hope set in the early 1900s it portrays a woman in an empowering way her stance makes her feel like a patron of hope someone who will lead you to hope haldankar's command on the medium is displayed by the fabric on the woman and how realistic it feels the sari's ebb and fall complements the woman engulfed in it Her grip is strong. Look at it. Swalaram Hallankar showed artistic talent at a very young age. He learned under the brilliant artist and tutor Durandan. He was bound to make something exceptional. This is S L Hallankar's most prominent work. It's called The Glow of Hope, but it's also called Woman with a Lamp. And this girl here, yeah, this one. That's his daughter, Geeta Hallankar. As the story goes at the age of 12, yeah 12, during Diwali, Geeta was asked to sit for her bhau to pose for him. This painting is a part of a series centered around the concept of a single light source emitting light and creating dramatic shadows. It was a simple idea actually, but it became pretty famous very soon. Can you imagine 1940s? Maybe there was a camera, maybe there wasn't. but you had to sit for an artist you had to sit for hours till every detail every nuance was captured not like today you just click a button like you see that red shiny button there yeah press it it says subscribe subscribe to art history plus and please like comment and please share this video to all your friends thank you